Juliet Gordon Lowe. Juliet Gordon Lowe cared about all girls developing good character. She wanted girls to learn self-sufficiency. This means she believed girls should learn to rely on and care for themselves. She believed that girls had the ability to provide for themselves. She has changed the world for the better. Juliet Gordon Lowe was born in Savannah, Georgia. She was born on 8, October 31, 1860. She had a wealthy family. People called her Daisy. She was sensitive. She was curious. She was adventurous. She had a great sense of humor. She was compassionate. That means that she cared deeply about other people. She experienced many issues with her ears. This almost resulted in total hearing loss. She went to school in Savannah at first. Juliet attended a boarding school to finish her education. Juliet returned to Savannah after her schooling was finished. Juliet married William Lowe in Savannah. It was 1886. They then moved to England. Her husband died in 1905. She received an allowance from her husband's accounts. She looked for something new to define her life. Juliet Lowe became friends with Sir Robert Baden Powell. He created the Boy Scouts. Juliet enjoyed scouting. She worked with the Girl Guides in England. She moved back to Savannah in 1912. She started the first troop of Girl Guides in the United States. A year later, the name changed to Girl Scouts. She started the very first troop. There were 18 girls. Lowe worked with the Girl Scouts for the next 15 years. She wanted to help girls to be independent. She wanted to prepare girls to do other things besides housework. Juliet wanted to involve girls with disabilities. Girl Scouts became the largest volunteer group of women and girls in America. Juliet got cancer. She died on January 17, 1927. She was buried in her Girl Scout uniform. Juliet Gordon Lowe has been honored since her death. A museum now exists where her childhood house was. The USS Juliet Lowe was a Navy ship named to honor her. Her face has been on a United States stamp. She has been dedicated as a Georgia woman of history. There is a bust in the Georgia State Capitol. A bust is a sculpture. She was awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom. President Barack Obama honored her with this in 2012. It is the highest award that can be given to a civilian. A civilian is a person who is not a soldier.